Hello, welcome to another custom figure showcase. So today we're going to be showcasing Phase 2 Captain Fordo. Alright guys, so I've had this one in the back burner for a little while. I just had to like clean him up a little bit so he looks perfect for this video. So like I said, this one is based on Captain Fordo, his Phase 2 armor from the second season of the Clone Wars Micro Series. Now this custom was a lot of fun. Uh, the hardest part for sure had to be the helmet, but aside from that, it was pretty simple. So the main base is a Phase 1 Clone Trooper Black Series figure. Not the older mold, but the newer mold, which is a little bit more skinny. So for this one, I only had to print about two 3D printed parts, uh, which was the pauldron and also the holster. And I had to order a helmet from John Walker Customs. Go ahead and please check him out. His link will be down on the description below. He makes amazing prints and he ships them super fast. He's known in the community as a super fast shipper and super, super good quality products. So let's get started with the helmet. Now for the helmet, what I did was I spray painted the helmet with a white matte spray paint. And then I started adding all the little black details like the visor, the part on the cheeks, the black line on top. And this was really, really hard, not gonna lie. I had to, I did it a bunch of times and I had to clean it up little by little because I got black paint everywhere. And then the red lines were super, super hard also. I tried doing it first by myself, but it really didn't work out. So I had to ask my girlfriend to help me out with this one. She's super, super talented. So she fixed them up for me and they look way better now. So just to make it like more similar to the original black series color, I added a black wash and also a matte spray paint on the whole figure just to kind of tie it all together. And then it was pretty much like adding red details where the armor needed it. So the red details were in the both of his shoulders, his elbows, his arms, and his knee pads. Now Captain Fordo has kind of like a harness for his pauldron and what I use for this is the skirt for the dark side ray. So I've used it for so many black series figures. I used it for Alpha 17 and I also used it for Crimson Dawn Maul. So for the harness, I just cut up thin strips of the skirt. I painted it gray and then I super glued it into place. For the holster, I just did a simple black wash on top of the white paint and then I super glued it and added a DC pistol on it. When I finished the whole figure, I did my weathering, which which is a black brown wash on the whole figure. Then I took it all off. I left some of the pieces that are dirty and then I did the black scratches. After doing all of the weathering and the scratches, I did a matte spray paint on top of it. So it seals the whole figure together and it doesn't scratch off when I'm posing the figure. So that's pretty much it for my Phase 2 Captain Fordo figure. I'm gonna do a little comparison here of my Phase 1 Captain Fordo and my Phase 2 Captain Fordo. I love both designs. I feel the Phase 1 is a little bit closer to my heart just because I just remember re-watching those episodes when I was a kid over and over and over again. Type down in the comments below which version do you prefer? Do you prefer the Phase 1 or do you prefer the Phase 2? Now we know that we're getting a Black Series official Captain Fordo in Arc Trooper armor figure and they've changed the design. They've made it a little bit more accurate to how Arc Troopers look in modern Clone Wars and I'm completely okay with that. The only thing that really bothers me is the deco that they decided to use for the figure. It's a very weird paint style scheme. The main thing that I'm talking about is how they just painted white the extra ARC Trooper armor pieces and it looks kind of off. So you know that this is not the last Captain Fordo video that we're going to get on this channel. I'm obviously going to upgrade that figure to make it a little bit more accurate to how ARC Troopers look in Clone Wars. So I'm going to be painting some of the pieces gray and adding a couple more details. So stay tuned for that next year whenever that figure comes out. But either way, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the comments, all the subscriptions and everything, so thank you so much. And stay tuned for the next video. I'm still debating on which video I'm going to do, but I have two that I'm working on right now. I am working on the 6 inch scale Droidica, and I'm also doing a little custom clone trooper collection video. So stay tuned for those videos and have a beautiful day.